we've had around 60 young people um, come voluntarily to this uh, to this activation, which has involved uh, activities like workshops around kind of football welcomes and trans awareness, um, team building activities, um, mindfulness, and then along with plenty of sports activities such as badminton, football, basketball, uh, parkour. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of fun, relaxation, and time with their friends. It is absolutely amazing to have that many young people engaged in the activities in, in, after what's been such a difficult time. What have you made of the week so far? Oh, it's been really good because we did like some things with, we're doing a Dragon's Den thing, making our own like products and stuff. And we're doing loads of like different sports and I like like, because we get to chill with our friends and it's just really good. Like, in lockdown we couldn't really do anything like, couldn't do any sports because indoor sports we couldn't do. So going here, like we could do everything we wanted to, um, and it's been really good. And what have you made of Leicester City and the community coming in and delivering this um, workshop with you this week? I really like it because like it's something to do as well. Because like we've been sitting at home for ages, and I love like football and just sports. And I just like how they've all done it. Prior to coming on to this this week, what um, how did you sort of feel about it? And how do you feel now that you've worked with Leicester City and the community? I think I'm definitely it's definitely more confident about more sports that we've been doing because obviously lockdown we didn't do any of it. You know. um, but yeah, I think it's definitely better. I think I feel better about it now.